Well, good afternoon, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here, WilhiteWX.com. Winter weather advisories have now been hoisted, uh, as I mentioned this morning, but they've now been extended a little bit further up here into southern Indiana. And so you've got Clark, Floyd, Harrison, uh, Crawford, uh, Perry, Spencer, uh, Warwick, Vandenberg, Posey, Gibson, and Pike now included into this. And if you're watching this and say, well, what about Du Bois? It's white. Du Bois is not officially under the winter weather advisory. I have no clue why. Uh, for some reason, National Weather Service little chose not to put them under the advisory when they did that. Uh, it's one of the logical fallacies of having two different weather service offices uh, control this sector of Indiana. Actually, three, because Indy controls uh, counties up here a little bit more towards the north. So, um, I, and we'll see whether it matters or not. But, you know, let's just pretty much say anywhere from this line and on southward in Indiana, uh, you're looking at maybe an inch or a little more of snow possible this evening with this. Officially, the weather advisory is out for one to three inches, but I think maybe an inch or maybe a couple at tops is what looks a little bit more reasonable to me at this point. It's not going to be a big snow, I don't think going to be a little bit bigger as you get down into Kentucky. Now, that's where you're talking about winter storm warnings here, and there's a forecast for three to five inches of snow. I can show you why here as we take a look at future radar. This is the high-res NAM, and you've seen that snow start to change over from about 6 to 8 o'clock uh, tonight along the Ohio, along the Wabash River, and then it sort of spreads. And you can just sort of watch as this moves in through here, and you can see why the advisories is placed where it is. Again, Dubois County does see snow with this, so I'm not exactly sure uh, why uh, the Weather Service in Louisville did not uh, choose to put anything out for them. But for the most part, uh, you know, again, the snow is mainly going to be down in Kentucky. It changes to more of a heavy, wet snow the further on into the night it goes. So if this wave had arrived maybe about two or three hours later than what it is, then Indiana could certainly be looking at some heavier snow with this. Uh, but because of the cooling temperatures of the night, but the way it, the way it shakes out right now, it looks like the you know it's going to uh, turn to a heavier wet snow for Kentucky and not so much for Indiana at this point. The HER model, um, you know, if we go over to the simulated radar on the HER model, you kind of see that, but it, it focuses it more toward Kentucky as well. It doesn't really like to change it over to snow for Southern Indiana at all here, except for maybe right over there in Posey County. It just gives the little the little slightest hint, and if we take a look at what the snowfall. Uh, would be for that. You, you kind of see that only just a tiny little sliver of southwest Indiana right along the Ohio River ends up getting anything. This HER model is the highest resolution model we have. It's run hourly. So again, this changes every single hour. So weather advisories probably are well placed. I think right now I would add Dubois into the mix if it were me. That would be the only other uh, county that I would really add into this. Uh, and that's only because Pike and you know Crawford are both in it. So keep it consistent and have it in there uh, around it. Uh, but again, I'm thinking more of an inch to a couple at most uh, in the advisor area it could end up being less than that. It's just very questionable. Whenever you've got uh, one high res data suggesting that you don't see anything in here other than just some wet snowflakes mixing in, doesn't amount to much. And then you have another one saying, hey, you can get a pretty decent little snow out of that. You, you have some issues. If we look at what the three kilometer NAM is doing here, well, there you can see. And again, uh, you can see why they placed it where they did. Uh, pretty much right in here, which is where the weather advisory is, is right where the three kilometer NAM is suggesting we get snow. For most of us, it's less than an inch uh, in, in this. But, you know, you do get some places right over here in southwest Indiana that could be just a little bit more than that. But again, uh, you know, you're looking on to this and, and you are seeing down in here a, a pretty heavier swath of snow. And that's exactly where that winter storm uh, warning is and officially it's a three to five inch swath is what the weather service is expecting sort of down in this winter storm warning area this is not the only modeling all the modeling is pointing towards this you know the euro model is a little bit less again less than an inch uh, for those of us in the advisor area except for right around the evansville area you might get a couple under this scenario and you see uh, there are some heavier snow down in towards kentucky again the three kilometer nam the high res nam suggesting that same thing the Canadian coming in with that as well. And again, you see there for southern Indiana, pretty much less than an inch. Again, in that advisory area, pretty close to the Ohio River. Go north of that, you're not going to see a thing out of this. And then the GFS is the one that's furthest to the north. I think it's a little too far towards the north out of this. So, you know, here's the way the Weather Service is forecasting it. And, and you can kind of sort of see this. And here's their timing on it from about 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, central time here. That's the start uh, start time. 
around this black line for when things would transition in about seven to nine as you get a little bit further on into the end. It'll all be gone by about midnight, and so it's going to be an evening activity for us uh, more than it is anything officially. Uh, the Paducah Weather Office is forecasting uh, pretty much less than an inch or so here for us. They have not updated this. A winter weather advisory typically is not issued for anything under an inch, but the idea of being a heavy wet snow, it might stick to the roads and things is kind of, I think, what's prompted them as well. And of course, you've got wind gusts that could come up to 30 miles per hour with this tonight, along with those slick roads. Visibility, uh, one half mile or less in the heavier snow bands. Again, that's primarily going to be down into Kentucky, but that could affect us here in southern Indiana as well. So, you know, the bottom line is snow is already on the way. It's 241 central time as I am uh, recording this. And uh, if I can get my... Uh, here we go. If I can get radar to pull up for you and put this into motion, you can kind of see this is current radar uh, now. And you can already see we've got rain working in, but we have falling temperatures across the area. In fact, you can go down here to Harrisburg. And over the past couple of hours, Harrisburg's fell, fallen from 41 down to 36. So you can see the fall is happening here pretty rapidly. And the, again, what you're going to see here as a result of this is that uh, especially this area over in here is going to start to change over to snow first, and then it'll eventually slide down that way. And I think uh, you will see some snow uh, showers mixing in over this area again, uh, where the winter weather advisory is. How much is questionable? I think maybe an inch or slightly more is possible, but honestly, probably less than one inch would be a little bit better. And then, of course, uh, north of this, you're probably not going to see much of anything just by the angle of how this is uh, sort of going down tonight. Well, it's going to start here, but it's all going to angle down like into this. And so if you are north of this red line up in here, you're probably not going to see much of anything tonight, sort of the way things are looking. Well, that's it officially for now. Just wanted to give, record you a short video up. They all have some radar screenshots as things go closer. But, you know, uh, in, enjoy. If you're a snow lover, enjoy this. It's, it could be the very last one of the year. Again, I, as I've always said, do not rule out March. March is a transition month, and we're certainly seeing that. Sometimes March is full of surprises. So if you got travel plans for tonight, just use some caution out there in that advisory area. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. WilhiteWX.com. Have a great night. Stay safe. Be sure to send in your reports.